verse, amen, to sing to heaven. And it just simply says, this is the day. This is the day.
bottom of the waters, fishing, he was on, how did they sit and sand? But it was some water that was shaking the bottom. Amen. I, uh, mother, I was enjoying myself so much, I was laying on the beach, on the, on the, the beach chair, and they said, I had, Mr. Larry got some sun points with her. Yeah, because I was looking at sun for so long, you know. I'm a new jack, I know you need sun screen, and you know, I thought that was what the right thing was. <laughs> so I don't know, sat in that sun, and that, you know, kind of hit me a little bit, but hey, God is good.
give God a hand of praise. Amen. Because her testimony is our testimony. Because the God that she served is the God that we serve. And so we overcome by the testimony and the blood of our land. And, and, and what I love about that is because she heard from God and did it God's way. You know, God will give you instructions on how to do whatever you gotta do. And sometimes the instructions might not even make sense to you. But if you are faithful, oh come on somebody. And you are obedient. I believe God can deliver us out of anything that we go through. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. That's for us. Hallelujah. And remember, before we, 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 we bring our speak up, this is why we don't have to force anybody to praise Bishop. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But this is why we don't have to. Because when you think of the goodness of Jesus, when you think back of what he's done for you and your family, yes. you ain't never got to hear all that again you give God praise. Yes. You ain't never got to hear somebody cheer you up and say, come on, let's give God When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, sometimes you got to be in the mind and say, I'll praise him all by myself. Because I know what he's done. And that's enough for you. Bishop, come on, Bishop. Thank God for that inspirational testimony. Yes. From the church mother. Yes. God bless all of you. Uh, last week, the speaker anointed my feet. Yes. Remember? Yes. And he did it twice. When I went home, the kids anointed my feet. And they didn't even know what the speaking thing is before they came. And I, I rejoice in my spirit that God even uses children to tell you that it's all right. And they came in and none of my feet said, now who? And I started moving on to that right. That's good. God bless all of us.
Yes, right. The honor of the Lord. Yes. The word of God. Yes. And can we thank all of our pastors of Athea this day? Yes. Serve other gods 
so do they also unto thee. Now hearken, now therefore hearken unto their voice. How be it yet protest solemnly unto them and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel so told all the words of the Lord unto the people that had asked of the king. And he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He shall take your sons and appoint them from him for himself, yes. for his chariots, and to be horsemen, and some shall run before his chariots. And he will appoint them captains over thousands and captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground, to reap his harvest, and to make his instruments of war and instruments of his chariots. Listen to these words. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries and to be cooks and to be bakers. And he will take your fields and your vineyards and olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. Yes. And he will take the tenth of your seed and your vineyards and give them to his officers and his servants. And he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your goodliest men, young men, and your ass, and put them yes. to work. Yes. He shall, he will take the tenth of your sheep, and he shall be his servant. Yes. This verse right here. Nothing else. Yes. <laughs> and he shall cry out in that day because of your king, which ye shall have chosen you. Yes. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. Out of everything else that they took, this verse, and ye shall cry
delicately, I can imagine. <laughs> and listen to what he said. And Agag said, surely the bitterness of death is past. Think of this over. Yeah. But how many of us know that God remembers? Yeah. God remembers. And Good 
ability to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him. This is he. Then yes. Samuel took the one of all that anointed him in the midst of his brother. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day. Yes. King yes. David was a descendant of Judah, poet, yes. musician, yes. warrior, writer. He is called the Lord's anointed. Yes. The Bible records David being anointed three times. First Samuel 16 and 11, which I just read, anointed by the tribe of Judah. Second Samuel 2 and 4, and the men of Judah came, and there they anointed David over the house of Judah, and they told David, saying, that the men of Jabez Gilead were they, were they that buried so. Yes. Anointed by Israel, 2 Samuel 5 and 3. So the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them and Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. Yes. The primary purpose of, of anointing the holy oil is to sanctify, to set the anointed person apart as holy or, uh, excuse me, as holy for an ordained purpose. Yes. Exodus 30 and 29, and thou shalt sanctify them that they may be most holy, whatsoever touches them shall be holy. David is known as God's anointed. Hey. Jesus is the Messiah, the yes. anointed one. One, he's our deliverer, our redeemer. Jesus, in, in Revelation 22 and 17, Jesus said, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright of his stone. David, a man after God's own heart, was chosen to be, was chosen by God as a young boy. He was the youngest of his brothers. He was the one God used to kill the fire. His older brothers were a part of Saul's army, but they were afraid to stand up to Goliath. But David, God's anointing, was not afraid to stand up against the Philistine giant. Yes. The reason he stood up to Goliath, the same reason we stand up to ours, yes. is because we have been anointed for this. Yes. We too have been set apart for the work of the Lord. Yes. Not only for the work, but we are anointed for the attacks of the enemy. Yes. The lion looked on David, he made the same mistake as Samuel when he looked on Eliad. They both looked out the outer, outer appearance, but God
so they right here and uh, uh, yes. Elder Roger and they were staying anointing for all of me. And I'd like Evangelist Bonds to come in the middle out and yes. Evangelist Duffy to come. I want to pray for you, but uh, at time and time, I prepare this message. I stole your face. Amen.
mercy and service. Powerful, powerful. Powerful word, powerful anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was not sure. Come on. And this is the Saints Hospital. Hallelujah. I don't care what I'm going through. Yes, God is first in my life. Yeah. And as long as I make him first in my life, he will take care of everything else. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I was not feeling good in my life. Yes. But I, I feel fine now. Yes. Amen. And I know
said the doctor had the last word. I said, no, no, I had the last word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor said, no, it'll be one to two weeks. So he goes to the doctor tomorrow. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's give God another hand praise. 